Hi, welcome back to the Maybelline channel. I'm Jenna Christina. Hopefully you already saw my no makeup makeup look with Amaya. Thank you so much, it's beautiful. Uh, today we're going to build up on that and it could be a fall look, but it could be your day to night. Just um, a little bit more makeup, a little bit more definition. I'm gonna focus on eyes. So the two key products here will be the Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. This one is High Roller, beautiful bronze, and the best palette ever, which is Nudes of New York. To apply this, you can use your finger if you want. I'm gonna use a brush, just get a little product on. This will help the eyeshadow stay on longer and also have more color impact. I'm kind of tapping it on and brushing it up. Concentrating on the eyelid and bringing it up above the crease. This eyeshadow is beautiful on its own, but I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna add a little bit underneath her eyes so you get that smoky, sultry look. I'm gonna blend Creator and Globe Trotter and tap it into the outer corners of the eyes. I'm gonna take Fighter, which is a beautiful copper, and apply it to the center. This has a metallic quality, so it's gonna reflect light, and it just gives a really open brightness to the center of the eye. Next, I'm going to do Artist and do a light wash underneath the brows. My favorite part about these eyeshadows is that they're very finely milled. They're almost like a cream to powder, so it gives you that airbrushed effect. You don't have to blend it as much. You don't have to work as hard. I'm gonna do the dark colors on the bottom, the outer bottom corners and tapping a little bit of fighter on the bottom center as well. When I do a more dramatic eye, I really like to apply a lot of concealer underneath it. It really helps to draw attention to the eye. This is the best concealer, Instant Age Rewind. If you haven't tried it, you're welcome. And then I'm gonna go in with a different shade of the Instant Age Rewind, a little bit darker, more her skin tone, and kind of blend them into each other. You, I mean, I've used Instant Age Rewind as a full face foundation using a couple different shades, and it's beautiful. I am going to accentuate the glow with Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. If you use a softer brush, it just kind of dusts a little bit of highlighter on. If you want a more intense highlight, use a denser brush so you can pack on that color. Right now she has one coat of the Falsies Lash Lift. I'm gonna add a little bit more with Sky High, everyone's new favorite. I really like to coat all of the lash, like every single side of it so you can get the blackest, longest lashes of our dreams. I am going to coat her bottom lashes for this look. Okay. I'm gonna use the Superstay Matte Ink Crayon in Live on the Edge as a lip liner. This is a dense burgundy brown. Also the best part about these is the smell. <laughs> they smell so good. In the center, I'm going to use Mauve For Me. I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Fit Me Blush in Peach on the apples of her cheeks. Again, the tapping motion just helps to blend it all out. To finish this look, I'm going to use Lasting Fix Banana Powder. I'm not gonna use it over the whole face. I'm gonna press it into the areas that I want to be more matte, which is under the eyes to set the concealer, down the tip of the nose, like right around the nose, and on the forehead. Basically the center of the face. 
Wait, I'm gonna do some bronzer too. <laughs> Sometimes when you look and you think you're finished, you're like, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> oh, okay. So pretty. Thank you so much for tuning in to our fall makeup look. It's kind of like a bump up, but um, please comment below and let me know what your favorite products are, what you're excited to try, and maybe if you have any other ideas for some future tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to Maybelline and hopefully we'll be back.